Right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my World Cup qualifier, Deutsche Blood Bowl League. Um, game number four, as you can see, it started with a blitz. Um, I'm playing against Yagul, who won the toss and decided to kick in the rain. I think I would have kicked even if it wasn't raining, so um, thinking about it, my plan was to kick. And he kicked in the rain. He obviously makes the kick even better. We've both got Wood Elves. We've both got nearly identical teams. He swapped a reroll for an Apothecary, um, which is why he's only got two rerolls. We've both got War Dancers with Strip Ball and Tackle. And we've both got a um, throw with Leader. We've both got three catches. He's gone Block and Sidestep on his catches, whereas I've gone Dodge on Lineman. So um, we've really gone, you know. Ne it's it's a mirror, but it's not quite a mirror. But as you can see, I set up in the basically the anti blitz formation of you know if it's not at the sideline. Obviously, the sideline you screwed anyway. But now, if he blitzes this guy down, there's still a screen. If he blitzes this guy down, there's still a screen. So I went kind of as much anti blitz as I could have done. I think you know couldn't really cover the sidelines completely. So luckily, his blitz wasn't wasn't devastating at all. Um, had it been a short kick, he would have he would have no doubt committed to it. But still, so yeah, he's he just uh, he plays it kind of safe, doesn't he? he? Doesn't really doesn't really commit much. Though he does give the he does give me the leader to hit, which you know them only having one reroll plus the leader was very tempting to, to hit the leader so that's, <laughs> therefore it's my first it's my first move is to hit him now the bad thing is that means I can't pick up on a blodger which makes which makes my ball carrier a lot less safe doesn't it <laughs> in the rain I don't really want to hand off um, and obviously now I've only, I'm stuck with a movement 7 carrier without block or dodge Now, if I'd only had two rerolls, I would have probably I would have probably taken them both down there. So I was very happy to have um, the third reroll at that point. I thought maybe this guy could have moved into this square or this square. Actually, I'm not sure he did much going back. Went for the pickup because I didn't I didn't want to reroll this block, um, and didn't really care if it failed. Thought I still had some kind of screen here. And there you go. This was, this was nice from him here. He gets he gets uh, he gets the two D, although it's not with tackle, which he could have had over here. It does get him additional blocks, um, though not three dices. Maybe he could have made them three dices. To be fair, maybe he could have put the because he put this guy here. Maybe he could have gone there and another one there, and he could have made them both three dices. But as it is, he ends up. Only two dices and not knocking him down. He's got quite a heavy commitment over here. But again, there's not a lot I can do against... Well, so I'm, I'm thinking, like, we kind of both want to win this game. But I really don't want him to go ham. Well, go aggressive on defense and turn me over since I've got the, you know, I'm carrying on the leader. But also I don't want to do a risk a handoff in the rain. So it makes the offense very tricky for me here. I'm, I'm, you know, I want to. I want to be cautious. But then also, if I'm aggressive, then and make him play aggressively, then he's only got two rerolls. So this is. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm inclined to think my offensive drive was poor here, but maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It was just the temptation to hit the leader on turn one was too great. Otherwise, the the dancer would have had the ball, and I would have been felt a lot more secure. Obviously, the strip ball's over one side, so it's easy to go the other side. This turn, at least. So, yeah, it just kind of took what he gave us there a bit, didn't it? Everything over here. Because he put everything over there. I 
did, I was giving up this block, but he is he is a higher strength with dodge, so it's three players to commit to blocking him, which I didn't hate. Oh yeah, and his 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 tree man failed to stand, but mine rooted. So any advantage that I would have got by his guy failing to stand was kind of negated by my guy uh, rooting, which is a bit a bit unfortunate. And normally with a rooted tree, you would try and cage up around him, but with him having a tree next to my tree, I didn't really want him to get a tree on the ball at any point. So, I mean, he wasn't that unlucky to fail that because it was through tackle, so. So now here I have the idea to move up here and then blitz this guy in so I can I can get hit on the with the tree, even though he's rooted. Quite, I quite like that. I quite like that he, he kind of committed quite heavily over where I was and left this completely open. So, again, if I'd only had the movement 8 carrier, I could have got... But I'm instead, I've only got movement 7, so I've got to make a GFI here. A terrifying GFI. Against elves, really, isn't it? Every GF, every roll you make with a ball carrier is horrific. Against elves. Roll a 1. And I really think I had to make that. And then, as you can see in the blitz, I've run through this square. So I really do, I want, this guy could have gone to here, I guess, or up here, maybe, here, facing the two down guys. That might have been worth it, facing two down guys. Um, but in the end, I didn't. I, I decided to see what happened with the blitz. And no rerolls double skull thank god he didn't get his armor broken that was the only thing i mean if he had <laughs> if i'd lost him there i would have been extremely salty <laughs> um but yeah you know i was quite happy with that blitz i was going to push him to here get a three dice yeah because then he might have just gone to three dice with a tree or whatever if i powered him then the tree wasn't going to three dice so i'd have moved him somewhere different but he's still reluctant to go for the ball here. I mean, he didn't have a really great shot at the ball. I don't think anybody would have really gone for the ball here. But there was a bit of an opening. Um, with him being based, he could have left in there for a 1D. With a strip, wouldn't have been hard. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 GFI. Wouldn't have been hard. One of the very rare armor breaks in this match. And thank God he didn't get killed from there. So now, maybe I could have pushed up here a little bit, but um, I decided to just kind of like try to stay where I was, I think. I've actually got less reroll than him now, haven't I? But I mean, the, the offensive teams. The team that's on offense is under pressure to use his rerolls because he can't let something bad happen, can he? Whereas on on defense, first turn turn up, first turn block both down, you can accept because it doesn't kill your whole defense. Whereas a first turn both down or double skull or quad skull or whatever is is the you know your ball's unprotected and what else run in and steal it. So there's definitely more pressure on the offensive team here. Kind of lucky to make all these dodges here. So, a nice safe cage. He's got to uphill the ball, probably if he hits it. No, no, he doesn't actually. He could have, could have easily just come in here and uh, left and ah, but then he can't cancel his assist. So, so I'm trying to get some use out of the tree, even though he's rude. And then he goes he goes aggressive now finally and bases every every well not everybody bases some men. But that's the thing with so much dodge, it's a bit I can kind of reposition, but it's hard for me to get forward now, isn't it? Maybe I should have gone forward that last turn, because now it's really hard to get forward. 
And in fact, I just chill out where I am again. <laughs> Move back a little bit further. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm just playing badly here or not. But I mean, I am scared of the, the strip. A defenceless ball carrier is, is a nightmare against elves, isn't it? Two plus to get the ball here. I mean, it's only a three plus if I've got blodge, really, with, with strip, but still. <laughs> so he chooses not to stand firm so that we're not in a tree, tree fight. A little bit, little bit unlucky to fail that dodge. Uh, you know, maybe I should have done them one at a time, but I was always going to make the two plus to get away anyway, really. Again, he fails a stand up. He's been pretty unlucky failing his stand up rolls, but then, as I said, my guy's uh, rooted anyway. I mean, I sent the odd receiver, but he was always blitzing the receivers down. And plus it's in the rain, I don't really want to pass or hand off in the rain anyway. But yeah, I thought Yagol did a did a good job defensively. I was I felt like he did a good job. Now I don't know if that was me doing a bad job <laughs> or him doing a good job, but I it felt hard to get forward at any time, but I was very scared of the of the strip ball ward answer. <laughs> Here seems like a good opportunity to at least get in the other half. I don't think I even went in the other half. Three, four, five, six, seven. But the, the tree's in the way, isn't it? So it's like... I think that's why I stayed... Yeah, I stayed behind my own tree. I mean, the tree is so good. Even though... Even though neither tree's done anything this game. <laughs> It's still pretty good being able to being able to cage around him and stuff. So yeah, he just went out there. Maybe maybe this was a bit of a nothing move. Maybe this guy shouldn't have gone where he won. Maybe this guy should have tried to get for this guy who went here should have maybe got forward. Because as it was, I only had one guy going a bit forward. If if that if that dodge guy had been here, that would have probably been a lot better, wouldn't it? But again, I've got one scoring threat effectively, so he just blitzes him down. Now it's looking really trouble, really in trouble now with only two turns left. Um, and he's got his whole team in front of me. But he has got to defend the whole width of the pitch still, hasn't he? That's the one thing I've got going for me here, being Wood Elves. There is always the chance of a Pass or, pass or a handoff. So yeah, may maybe actually this guy was a bit mispositioned this turn. I know it sounds harsh, but maybe you should have showed this up a little bit because he does give me a bit of a sniff here to make a, a play. Now there's, a, there's not a screen here, is there, so I can get a bunch of guys through. This is really risky, because I, I could have just handed off first, which would have made it safer in terms of him getting the ball off me and everything, but, you know, obviously he's got leap, so he can, he can leap in for a surf. So I, I had to have somebody here, and then I thought, I want to have somebody there as well. Because otherwise he could have leapt in and stuff and, and got a surf that way. So, yeah, incredibly scary 3-plus handoff there. Incredibly scary. But now he's in scoring range and it's very hard for him to get a 1-dice on the ball now. And pretty impossible to surf him. So, I was happy to have this guy standing here. But maybe I didn't need him. Maybe I could have just done the handoff earlier. But even then, I mean, I need the handoff to score anyway. One dice block there. I don't know what that achieved. 
to be honest. Luckily for me, he makes this dodge first, which doesn't really do a whole lot either. And then he goes in for the leap, so you know, he doesn't have a reroll. Oh, all right, that was what that dodge does. Now it lets him get in the leap in there. Oh, fair enough. And then, but he hasn't got a reroll and gets a skull. And <laughs> luckily for him, he's got the apple instead of the two rerolls, so he gets his dancer back. I mean, that would have been an absolute disaster for him to lose the dancer there. So I got a little bit, I mean, it's about 50 50 to uphill me. Um, but he had the three plus dodge as well, three plus leap as well. Using his reroll. So you obviously tackle on the dancer here, and failure state was better as well if I if I failed that block. And the GF fighter score. So it ended up being a perfect stall, but I, I don't know, I like I don't know if I played bad or if he played good or you know a combination of both. Maybe I played alright, but I felt like he definitely did just about enough in defence there to but maybe he made that a little bit of maybe he made a bit of a mistake to let me get through there at the end but overall I thought it was a good half from him um, so this is kind of my anti one turn defence and then faithfully on the stream I said anything but a anything but a touchback <laughs> and there wasn't a touchback because obviously in the rain it makes it a lot harder to get the ball doesn't it in the rain um there wasn't a touchback. There was something much, 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 much worse than a touchback against this one-turn defence. <laughs> much worse than a touchback. So he does have the... Oh, yeah, we'll do chase cam so whoever receives gets the gets the benefit of the uh, getting the camera behind them. So, yeah, his drive, he, he does have the one-turn, and especially with a sidestep, he's, he's got a much greater chance of the one-turn. So I guess he's setting up to to blitz with the uh, war dancer here, and he gets a quick snap. So that is the absolute way worse, way worse than a way worse than a, than a touchback because now he gets an, he gets to block here, block here to get the second square, and then blitz a path through. So it was just an absolute complete nightmare, nightmare result there. The quick snap, unbelievable. He just literally gets to block this guy. Block there, blitz a path, so whoa. Outrageous. Outrageous quick snap. I mean this this defense is weak to quick snap. But then luckily, thank God, he uses his reroll on a on that block and doesn't get a palm, which helps. Not getting a power is actually huge because it stops him getting an easy blitz here to get through. And doesn't get a block doesn't get a power there either. And doesn't get a power there either. So like he had pretty bad block dice after getting the quick snap. But still, it's still easy to pick it up and pass to him. So he's got the ball. Now I'm pretty sure here he makes a misplay because he's going for a three plus leap to one dice block to make no dodges. Instead of just 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus with a dodge reroll, I'm pretty sure 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus with a dodge reroll is better than a 3 plus 2 plus without any rerolls. But um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this was a mistake. And uh, he, fails the he fails the leap and doesn't score, thanks God. So... Thanks to his, uh, thanks to his apothecary, it is eleven versus eleven in the second half. Uh, he went rule of five, didn't he, for his defense? I think I just rule of five as well. Oh, there you go. Thanks to BZL in chat. Three three two with with dodge is uh, is sixty eight percent. And a 3 plus 2 plus without any rerolls is 56%. So it was an absolute. It was definitely a mistake to do that leap that he did there. But still, I mean, that, that could have easily been 1 1, even, even with that, couldn't it? It could have easily been 1 1 with that quick snap. 
and just generally his defense throughout the half was good. He gets the high kick, much much like a touchback. It's funny that we're in the rain, and yet uh, I made my pick up and my hand off without a reroll, and he made he caught the kick off. So the rain hasn't been a factor yet. Gets out of range of the strip guy. Which makes sense. Cheeky KO. Now I actually intended to play my defence very aggressively here to try and go 2-0 up. Um, but that KO made things a bit trickier. And then he uses a reroll here and won in 81s. So, obviously horribly unlucky to one in 81. But now I've got two guys KO'd, I really don't want to make. I think if I make a play for the ball, I could come off very, it could come off very badly for me. Um, so I don't want to go too aggressive. This guy is a scoring threat though, isn't he? Two squares in. I, I like sneaky scoring threats like that with, with elves. Um, so, you know, there's a chance to get the ball next turn and score. But I kind of switched to a kind of safer defence from what I planned on doing. Yeah, I, I thought I had to put something through. But mostly I'm just letting him score here, aren't I? If he, if he wants it. If he wants to score, I'm letting him score, basically. As I just, <laughs> But even then, there's still a threat next turn to, to pounce, if you like, and, and apply some pressure next turn, so... I didn't hate this. Like, at the end of the day, I'd rather be on offence than defence, wouldn't I? Despite the power of the strip ball guys. They've got to roll dice. But on the other hand, I like him being on, on offence with only one reroll left. So, it was all pretty interesting. So, I just, just straight up hand off here. Um, Roll the one on it, so the weather didn't matter. Even though it could have done. And he gets in a cage here. So, you know, I could have gone for the leap strip. I didn't hate going for the leap strip. To be honest. But I haven't really got anyone to recover. Maybe I should have kept... Maybe I should have kept somebody back over here, here for the recovery. And that dodge away really makes it a lot harder for me now. But it could still... The, still, the leap strip is still pretty easy. 3 plus 2 plus to get the ball. No, sorry, 3 plus 3 plus to get the ball. Or even just dodge in, 75% dodge in. But um, I decided... Yeah, the dodge in was actually better, wasn't it? Uh, more chance of getting it. If I use the rear on the hit. It was kind of, but there was a really good chance of a shot or nothing. But I thought, I just don't have the recovery. So I thought, just blitz, get people in the way. And now... The fact that he, he failed that handoff as well, he's got zero rerolls on offense. Do you know what? Maybe I should have based more people. But these guys have all got dodge anyway, so it's not so important to base them. So I just thought, get some guys in front, and you'll probably just score here, and then I get the ball back. And, uh, and can win 2-1. Because he's, he's really not going to like trying to stall. Oh yeah, I got, a cheeky, I got the cheeky scoring threat, so that if I did manage to get the ball... I could just score. Something for him to think about. And that was the thing, I was down two men. If I wasn't down two men, and if I'd had somebody here, I would have totally gone for the strip and then potentially recovery. But then also rain makes the recovery not so good, does it? I don't know, maybe I should have maybe I should have gone for the strip, because the ball on the ground is scary for him without rerolls, isn't it? Maybe I should have gone for the strip there. And all man's team, but I was aware. I was acutely aware that I was down two players. Um, I thought the position was kind of all right of his dancer. 
maybe he could have changed it a bit. I don't like going on the sidelines against dancers because if they get the leap strip, um, the ball can go in the crowd, can't it? And then you can get in a very bad spot then. So I really like staying away from the sidelines in the Elf, in the Wood Elf matchup. Um, even though I went down the sideline in the first half. <laughs> and you'll see I go down the sideline in the second half as well. <laughs> right, so he scores in three. But very costly drive from using his re-rolls. And luckily he got my KOs back. So 11-11, 1-1, receiving with three re-rolls. Looks great, doesn't it? Um, the fact that he's got woodies, though, means that he can... The game can turn at any point. I mean, really here, if it wasn't raining, maybe he's going for a two-turn score here would have been the best player. Because then he's got to try and score without re -roll. Even with even Maybe in the rain made it even better, actually. Maybe I really should have gone for... Try, try, maybe I really should have tried for an early score here. Put him back on offence with zero re-rolls. It's a lot scarier him having zero re-rolls on offence than it is him having zero on defence. Um, could have been crucial, but it was only a stun. I went away hit the leader. I mean, it wasn't because he was the leader. It was just because it was like a nice play at the head. But I just went for the leader even though he's used his leader reroll. Obviously, I want the tackle guy able to hit and the strip at the carry because he's strength three with blood. I go full anti, anti leap cage here. And again, maybe I'm playing over defensively on offense. I felt like I did. I definitely feel like I played pretty badly this game, to be honest. So yeah, good. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty good cage, isn't it? Though it does the bad thing is it invites pressure on. But then what can you do against the strip? It's it's scary. It is scary. Maybe I should have tried to force down an early score. Don't know. Maybe I should have settled on a draw here at this point. Played more defensively and not gone so ham when I went ham. I did go a bit ham here. There wasn't really the chance to uh, to push when I pushed. But the the, the center his, his center is quite weak here. And uh, if the tree, so here what I'm thinking is that I do the first action tree because the ball's safe. And you know, obviously, I want to see. I want to tree him and then get break through here. And then I thought I could break through here and I could have quite a good, you know, something anyway, something I could have done. But what happens instead is first action tree, both down, turn over. It wasn't the worst turn ever, but I, I felt like he was weak and I could have pushed forward then. I was a little bit unlucky, but... It wasn't a disaster, which is why I did it first, and didn't try to re-roll it. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I could have just, you know, moved up first or something, I don't know. Blitz this guy and just moved up. But it's getting very tricky. Very tricky to progress now with four turns left. The stripper and his tackle are both. Both waiting. Horrible blitzing a guy that I could have blocked, but I thought that was a big commitment to two guys to assist, wasn't it? And also I thought he could go forward maybe. No, I don't go forward. I think maybe he should have gone forward actually. Thinking about it now, I'd like to have him have got forward here. But I'm playing it very safe with a ball. Maybe too safe. I 
take the ball down on no balls. Maybe she should have dodged this guy out first. So things. I didn't really think about it, but once I rolled the ball down, I thought, Do you know what, that's better than a push. And maybe I should have thought about that first and gone for that dodge out. But then a ball down is probably better than not blocking. So, who knows. Could surf here. And uh, I thought, so I decided not to use dodge so he couldn't surf me, but... Do you know what? It wasn't even costing him much to get the surf. I thought it wasn't so bad, but then it would have been bad. However, if I hadn't used dodge and let him gone for the surf, um, he would have survived because there was a ball down. <laughs> so yeah, huge dodge there. If that had failed, I think he would have been up shit creek without a paddle. But now he's given me a bit there, hasn't he? He's, the fact that he's only got one guy on the sideline, if I pow him, but he's just kind of just too far ahead to be able to make it safe. And, yeah, it wasn't... I think I shouldn't have gone the sideline of the ball carrier. But even then, even if I'm not on the sideline, he could still pow me to the sideline. So really I'd want a GFI with a ball, and I just didn't have the players to get ahead of him. So I went on the sideline again, a turn too early, maybe. And yeah, just not really enough in the way. I just don't have the movement to get out in front. That was the key thing. When I did it in the first half, I had a bunch of guys out, out here, didn't I? And this time there's not a screen here. I had to have the leader there so that he couldn't get served. And I had the GFI there, I thought. And then the plan was for this guy to go one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So there'd be a screen there and I just didn't do it because I'd used the reroll. And I guess I should have gone for that anyway. I guess I should, just standing over there was bad. I should have gone for that play. Although I did roll a one on the next dice, but still, I think I should have gone for that one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI to make this screen here. I like, I like the hard tackle on him. The fact he's got no rerolls, but this really wasn't, this really wasn't good because this is, he could have, he could have leapt, he could have leapt and then leapt surfed, or he could have just leaped for the uh, 1D on the ball. But I mean, he's got no reroll, so the double leap to surf was very risky. Um, but he gets he gets the pow. I mean, he strips on a three plus, but he even gets the pow and the KO, which was pretty lucky. Let's be honest. Ball in the crowd, and I got lucky then because with a ball in the crowd, if that had come this way, he can just get the ball, pass it, the catcher score. Um, if it goes this way. He just picks it up with the catcher and scores. So I really shouldn't have let him. I should have had the ball three squares away so it couldn't have gone in the crowd. But that was that entailed a GFI or two. And more GFIs to make it safe. So I was, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have pushed forward as far as I... Maybe I should have kept it here and then tried to push forward the next turn. I don't know. But I, I was really risky and I did get away with that. Although he had good dice to, to get the leap in and, and the strip without re-rolls. You know, it was a two, two, three, three without reroll. But I did, I did leave myself open to disaster somewhat. <laughs> and then this was a huge dodge fail on the last one, because now that just frees me up to uh, to two D the ball, two D the guy marking it. He was, he was, you know, his plan was to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and double base the ball. Absolutely huge that. That fail. Gives us the dodge through and uh, the dancer blitz. The, the tackle here is actually well placed because can't do anything there. Um, get the push. Another dodge. Three plus pickup because of the rain. Rolls a two. So the rain finally comes into play. So now I've, I've, I've stopped here and think about whether to GFI or not. And then think fuck it. 
and get the GFI and get the, <laughs> get the touchdown. So, but I've scored on 15, which is dangerous, isn't it, against Wood Elves? He has another chance of a one-turn touchdown. However, this time, at least, if he makes the one turn this time, I get the chance to one turn back. Um, and this, you know, so... There you go. But yeah, I mean, I, I got incredibly lucky with a scatter. But then, you know, he got somewhat lucky to pop it. But I think I should have played better. But I mean, he did do... He did play very well, I thought. Tackle here, I don't know if they, I don't know where the tackle guy should go, I really don't know which which spot or where the tree should go or anything really. I don't know anything. <laughs> um I mean to be fair against the one turn he had a sidestep and a tree, so so the, the one turn back was gonna be pretty difficult. Um so yeah, his play here is is to go for put a guy in here and then use sidestep use the uh, leap and the sidestep to get the pushes. So he gets a re-roll, which <laughs> I wasn't very happy about, but at least he didn't get a quick snap. He gets the pass now when it's in uh, only in one tackle zone. I liked, I liked that. Should have probably done that last half as well, to be honest. So he gets a he, the the route doesn't matter there, does it? And nor does the removal really. He just pushed him here and still done the leap. So he fails the leap, but the extra reroll he's got gets him the success. So yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Gets the first push, but it's a, it was a pow. So he couldn't get the second push. So and he went for the dodges and failed them anyway. But uh, yeah, it was a power. So had that been a push, he would have just moved these guys around and got another push. And then maybe would have scored. But I didn't know what to do here. I didn't know whether casualties were a tiebreaker perhaps in DBBL. So I went I went for try to get a Kaz even though, you know, it might have been completely pointless. But... Yeah, so I, I mean, it was it was asking a lot to do a leap and then you know and then the pushes and everything, but he could definitely have got the uh, he could have definitely made that touchdown for sure. It was very possible. Two two ta two chances to one turn. Made a bit of a mistake on one of them, and you know may may forced me Yagol forced me into desperation plays on on offense so I felt pretty lucky to get the win there um, but now the fantastic DBBC are 4-0 and um, I'll put a link to the Deutsch Blood Bowl community there German not Dutch <laughs> Deutsch I can't speak very well I do live in Germany so there you go so uh, yeah so currently I'm top of the table on by my by myself on four wins other people have got like three wins and a draw or three wins and a loss so um a win in the next match should almost make qualification a certainty. So that's good, isn't it? Um, so thanks for watching. It, oh, there's t six rounds total. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.